Hey, I put this on 10 minutes, so this may be a while. Um, thanks for these comments here. I know I commented back, but this gave me a story time that I wanted to tell you about this painting, and I want to have this story out there. So, um, this may be in parts for other places, but there was this tree in my... <coughs> I'm sorry. There was this tree in my neighborhood across the street. Um, I could see it from where I'm sitting on the porch now. Um, we didn't always have this porch, but we used to have um, like a different deck in the backyard that I would sit on. Or I've always spent a lot of time outside. Um, and I've always admired the tree. And there have been times I've sat out here in the last few years before it was cut down. And, um, I recorded it one time, and it was not long after I recorded it that it was cut down. And, um, then another recording came up, like, after I made the painting and stuff, and after it was cut down, another, like, replay from the year before where I'd recorded it came up again. And, um, anyway, so, like, I love this tree. I loved this tree. And sitting out here at night, I would see, um, like, faces and shapes and, and, and trees, trees have spirits, trees have animals that live in them and animal spirits and nature spirits and, um, I would see their faces, like, they would show me their faces and things over time and, and I'd watch them move or change over the years and, and I just really, really appreciated all of those tree friends and nature friends and, and everything that lived in that tree. And it was a pink dogwood, so the pink flower, the pink blooms were always so beautiful in the spring. And it was on the corner over there, so it kind of blocked my view from some of the other stuff over that way that I, like, see now when I'm sitting out front. But, um the new neighbors had the tree cut down and I was feeling really, really sad about it. And I, I came outside and I, at different times I played different singing bowls. I got a couple of new singing bowls around that time. I got some other new instruments to play that I just did little, um, there's a bat. Um, it's dark, so instead of a crow confirmation, I get a bat confirmation. But, um, and there's the ghost that knocks on the fence. Um, I, <coughs> excuse me, you don't, you can't do that to me, but I know you're there, but, um, I, I played music for soothing sounds for the nature spirits and the energies, and, and I wished them well in finding new places to dwell, and I, um, I said goodbye to any that had moved on or that were moving on in the process. Um, and I painted a few times to honor the trees. And so I've been, um, this series here um, has been from the first painting from that. And I've shared a few of the different sounds I recorded at that time. But as an energy worker, an energy healer, an energy um, channel, I, I just felt that it was like my way to honor the nature spirits and the spirits of the tree and the, the tree spirits and, and the, um, the ground and the, the whole neighborhood. Like the tree across the street was really sad when it was gone. My trees out back were sad. The, bamboo was all sad just like everything was sad so as an artist I did what I could and I I put my intentions for healing and peace and comfort and um, a calm transition into these sounds and into these art pieces um, so I hope that whenever you see the art that you feel that calm like peace transition stuff but um now this goes back to the comment and this is five minutes in so a few parts in but this goes back to the comment so that 
I wanted to say thank you for leaving this comment because that's exactly like the way you described everything in, in your comments is the way that I kind of experienced it with those tree spirits and those nature spirits and those energies kind of um, I felt like miserably horribly sad and and tired and like defeated and I felt like like as an empath I felt I felt them you know fighting for their home and like being so sad that it was taken away and um, it wasn't like a dark energy coming in or anything like that but like I know the representation is like that and so it was just like the representation of change of the destruction and and the new beginnings and the change but the the destruction moment is like what you sensed in that and that was what I was like putting into that painting so that it could go somewhere so that healing could come out of it like so that it could be transform transformative into bringing healing energy to the tree and to the spirits and to me and to the neighborhood and everything so I hope that you feel some of that peace and that um calming with like the white snowy part that's what I get is like that white snowy part is um like that blanket of peace and calm and some of the sounds and I know I've used one of the sounds that I've used for this series was one that I recorded when I went on vacation but that's also a place where I go to visit the trees and honor the trees and um so it felt fitting with honoring the trees here and because trees all over are connected and if you heal one you can heal others um and I think um the next couple of paintings in this series coming up I think those energies are more of the transformative energies like this is more of the like the one where I was so sad I was gutted like and the tree and the spirits and the like all the nature energy in like the neighborhood was gutted at that time and so that's kind of what this one shows but I hope that the next couple show more of that transformation and more of the um, goodness and positivity that's hopefully going to regrow um, maybe next summer I can plant some new things to grow some more stuff to bring some more positive energy back but I, I tried to bring peace to it through painting and making sounds so I like sharing the sounds together with the paintings from the same time period because everything is energy and and you can choose energy has no positive or negative meaning you can choose how you perceive the energy and I perceive the sounds and the art and my way of doing that as a positive way of changing and transforming anything that may be harmful or not needed anymore into something peaceful and positive and good and um, inspirational and I just saw Bob across the street so I guess that's the end of it so yeah um, so thanks for listening if you've watched all these parts thanks for listening on TikTok because I don't normally post videos this long but um, I thank you so much for allowing me to use this um, to tell this story because I I want to start telling the story times from like my art pieces and um, telling people since I work with energy and paint the energy and play the energy into sounds I want to start telling you the stories about that like what does it mean instead of just posting just the result you know just the process and the result but I want to show you tell you what I've learned about it too I guess um so yeah thanks I hope you have a good day bye